get ready to raise your energy and have some fun as we focus on the topics and ask the questions that shine a light on what it takes to practice being spiritual. Welcome to Speaking of Healing. I'm your host, Dorian Lynn. Today, I'm going to be talking about the benefits of pairing chakra essential oils and crystals for weight loss support. And I'm also going to be giving you some sample pairings that you can try at home because what good is the information if you don't know how to use it, right? <laughs> I'm also going to be talking a little bit about this Gail Shamblin character. And I'm going to tell you a little funny story about my husband and how his personal journey with weight loss began. So it's going to be a loaded show. Hope you stick around. Now, you may be asking why, Dorian, why would you do a show about weight loss support? Well, a couple reasons. Uh, first reason being, it seems to be something that I never in my life have had to battle until menopause hit. Maybe that's a little TMI, but I got to tell you, menopause is, it can be a biatch. <laughs> For lack of a better way to describe it, okay? I mean, I my entire life was a skinny little twig. As a matter of fact, my nickname was Slim, forever and ever. Uh, even after I had my kids, I never broke 115 pounds. I mean, after I had my daughter, 113 pounds. Th this is after I had my first child. And I always said to my husband, you know what? If I ever had to go on any sort of a diet, I would be like the worst at it because, not because I don't have self-control or willpower or motivation or anything like that. I just, I myself never had a good relationship with food. I mean, I never really enjoyed eating. If I never had, I always, I told my husband this, if I never ever had to eat to survive, I'd be totally good with that. <laughs> I, mean, I, you know, like, I don't, I don't want to stop to do it. I don't like having anything to do with cooking. If I never had to go into the kitchen, that'd be fine with me. And I mean, when, well, okay, let's go back a little bit. For those of you who don't, know my background um, the reason really that my entire business started was because I was working on this blog because I was diagnosed with an autoimmune disorder and this autoimmune disorder affected my thyroid which in turn affected absolutely everything about me including my weight because your thyroid regulates your metabolism and I went from 113 pounds down to about 94 in the span of, you know, just a couple of months. And if you want to read the entire story, I, um, I turned my blog into my about section on my website, DorianLynn.com. If you really want to get into the nitty gritty of the whole thing. Um, but yeah, bottom line is... That was the first time I really had to pay attention to what I was eating and it was to gain weight and really to get healthy and the diet I chose was paleo and I'm not going to say that it was difficult. Um, it actually was a little bit on the easier side for me only because I I knew pretty much my life depended on it. So like I had to do it, you know, um, it wasn't easy, but it wasn't difficult either. But that was my first introduction to watching everything that I put in my mouth and it wasn't fun. <laughs> it really, it really was not fun. So, you know, I, I empathize with people who are struggling with this because I understand the struggle is real. And I live with someone, my husband, who, um, you know, was 165 pounds. He's a bodybuilder for most of the time 
that I met him all the way up until, you know, the last couple of years. And I think that's because menopause <laughs> hit him. And the funny story is, you know, he noticed himself gaining a little bit of weight and being a bodybuilder for many, many, I mean, from the time he was like 12 years old, he was always in the gym. Um, and he started noticing, Hey, I'm, I'm gaining a little bit of weight here. You know, what's going on? So <laughs> I had this old scale and I said, well, you know, why don't you just drag out the old scale and, and weigh yourself? So he drags out the old scale and, you know, puts it on a level surface like they tell you to do and gets on the old scale. And bottom line is he was not 165 pounds anymore now he didn't need the scale to tell him this you know he knew but he just wanted to see how much he weighed so <laughs> he gets on the scale and he looks down at it and I'm watching him do this right so he gets on the scale he looks down at it and he looks at me and he goes that shit needs to be recalibrated <laughs> So I don't know what the actual number was. I'm sure he told me, but I don't remember what it was. So he goes into the other room in our house where he had his bench and, you know, all his free weights and everything. And he comes back and he's got a 15 pound dumbbell in his hand. <laughs> he takes the dumbbell and he puts it down on the scale and the scale reads 15.0. <laughs> So, I mean, for those of you who are watching me on video right now, I'm going to gonna show you the look on his face. So he puts the dumbbell down. He looks at the scale and he looks back at me like this, like this, you know? So needless to say, the scale didn't need to be recalibrated. It was just this truth of, you know, his weight hitting him smack in the face. So that began his weight loss journey. And the poor man, it has not been easy. You know, it's like, what do I do first? Well, you know, cut out the carbs, cut out the sugar, stop eating this, stop eating this, <laughs> stop eating that. Tried all these different kind of diets. The poor guy, it seems like nothing really works. He even tried, um, you know, not eating for certain hours during the day. Then it was not eating for a number of hours during the day he's been through it all. So the reason I'm telling you this is because I understand what's going on and how difficult it is. So I just, I just want to let you know that. Um, and he said it was okay for me to share that story. So, so I did. <laughs> I, thought, I thought you were, you would enjoy it. Um, but I want to get down into some of the other emotions that go along with weight loss and really how that relates to your chakras. So there are people out there I know that are worried about how their weight is affecting their overall health. I know some people are afraid of what's going to happen if they continue to give in to cravings and destructive eating. Um, there are some people that are concerned about what others think about how they look. Most people struggling with this are very stressed and challenged um, by all sorts of things, but including negative emotions about themselves, uh, which also includes lacking self-esteem. And then there are people that think, well, maybe, maybe I just can't reach my goal, you know, for whatever reason they're giving up. Some people avoid the truth about looking at their weight gain. They just go into total denial. But I'm telling you, if you want to become your true self, if you want inner emotional peace and have a healthy metabolism, then the calories that you're taking in and burning off are probably not the only thing you need to focus on, right? You probably need to focus on some or one or all of the issues that I just listed. Now, 
Your chakra system is the system that holds the energy of these thoughts and emotions about yourself and your weight loss. And an easy way to shift the energy that's held within your personal chakra system is to use essential oils and crystals, among other things. But for this particular uh, this particular episode, we're just focusing on essential oils and crystals. And why are we doing that? Well, it's because they can support us physically, emotionally, and spiritually. And I really don't want to get into, you know, this is a diet and exercise episode because that's not really what I'm about. And plus, when you use the right ones together, you can soothe, balance, energize, heal, uplift, renew, and harmonize your bioenergy through your chakra system. Now, for those of you seeing me flipping pages here, it's because I'm taking a lot of the information that we're talking about directly from my blog post about this, which you can find on my website, dorylynn.com. And you just click on the blog and you'll find this and some other articles that may help you there. So let's talk about some of the benefits about pairing essential oils and crystals while you're losing weight, right? Because I am not here to tell you that if you pair some of these essential oils with crystals, that you're going to lose weight because that would be a lie. Okay, this is just to help you while you're doing other things. So what can pairing essential oils and crystals help you with? Well, they can help you with a stronger motivation to eat healthy. They can help balance your emotions to help fight cravings and release patterns of overeating. They can help you with energy to take control over your health and create new eating habits. They can comfort you to release stress and heal emotional wounds to avoid emotional overeating. They can help you with confidence to ask for and attract what you need. They can give you a renewed sense of self-care and a heightened intuition for listening to your body's needs. And they can help with harmonizing your body, mind, emotions, and spirit for that all-important healthy metabolism. So to experience this energetic-based weight loss, weight loss support, not weight loss, weight loss support, and get the most profound benefits, you can use your chakra system as your own personal guide for targeting your particular emotional needs with the most effective oil and crystal combinations, which I'm going to give you shortly. But before we do that, because I'm talking about weight loss support and doing something that is probably not, you know, in the mainstream when you think about weight loss support, I want to ask you, have any of you seen the documentary on Netflix about this woman, Gwen Shamblin? Now, I don't want to bash a woman because she's passed on, you know, but if you haven't seen it, I'll, I'll just give you a little brief rundown. So she's this woman and I really think that she started out with good intentions. You know, she was a went to school to be a, a dietitian, and she came up with this weight loss program, which really was not any sort of original idea. But she took this weight loss program about, you know, just eating until you're full. And then, you know, when you have cravings or those in between times that are really difficult, you go to God. Okay, so, you know, that's, that was her program. And she called it the way down. And she became very involved in her church. And this program became very popular among people in the church. All over the, all over the country. I don't remember if it was all over the world. It may have been. But I know for sure it was all over the United States. Anyway, somewhere along the line, she went off the rails. And she started to think that she was some sort of profit and this whole thing that she had developed turned into she turned it into her own church which really if you look at some of all of 
the behaviors and the rules and all the kind of things that were going on with her and, you know, and the people in the leadership and the people that were following her and doing this program, it really became the definition of a cult. So I urge you to take a look at it and watch it um, because it's just another example of what I like what I like to call that is not very spiritual of you, Gwen, <laughs> you know, and anybody that is still perpetuating it. And they say that her daughter took it over and is now the leader of this thing. And I really, I urge you, if you know anybody that's involved in this or contemplating it, really steer them away from it. I, you know, I, I can't stress strongly enough and you don't have to take my word for it. You can watch the, the documentary, the special on Netflix. I think it's still on Netflix. Um, and, you'll, and you'll see what I'm talking about. So let's get into pairings of the essential oils and the crystals for your chakra system that are going to help you on your weight loss journey. And I always like to start at the beginning. So we're going to start with the root chakra. Your root chakra is your center for soothing, strengthening, securing, and vitalizing energy. So this is the chakra you're going to want to concentrate on if you need help with motivation. Motivation to get started, motivation to stick with it. Uh, it's your foundation of emotional and mental health. And it's also the chakra most closely associated with your physical survival. It's here where you're going to find the energy that helps you persevere through those, those difficult days and those fears of loss and survival. Uh, in the case of weight gain, your fears may quite literally be about surviving and losing your physical health. The energy that helps you persevere is essentially the energy of an important decision. Whether or not you're going to just survive or if you're going to thrive and physically flourish. If you choose just to survive and you're closing the door on all that you could accomplish, but if you choose to thrive, you could open the door to all possibilities. Even the words survive and thrive seem to carry different energies. Like say them out loud, say I'm surviving or I'm thriving and try to feel where those words, that energy resonates in your body. And my guess is that you're going to feel them in the location of your root chakra at the base of your spine. So to make your desires for physical survival and healthy weight a reality, you're going to need persistent motivation, especially to eat healthy and exercise. And for that, you're going to need to understand on an emotional level, why you're doing what you're doing. What is your why? If your answer stirs up negative feelings about yourself, whether they originated with you or you've absorbed them from someone else, there's work to do in the root chakra. Without being able to feel that you approve of yourself at any given moment, which includes the way you are right now, even if you're not exactly the way you want to be, you won't have the emotional strength, that firm foundation to build your plans and your goals on. Unconditional acceptance of yourself can be very difficult. I understand that. But remember, you can't spend your time changing if you're busy spending time punishing yourself. So ultimately, learning to accept yourself unconditionally will help you develop a sense of security and emotional strength. And when you're studying the chakras, you know that the root chakra is your chakra for security. When you learn the lessons of confronting and freeing yourself from negative thoughts and emotions surrounding your desire to lose weight, you'll be able to harness and direct that motivating root chakra energy towards your weight loss journey. Your root chakra will become stabilized and balanced and you'll feel revitalized and motivated to eat healthy and exercise, which is really 
what it takes to lose weight. So your root chakra essential oil and crystal are going to be sandalwood and almondine garnet. And the reason that I chose this particular oil and this particular crystal is because sandalwood is an emotionally soothing oil for anxious feelings. And it also provides core emotional support and encourages a sense of stability and balance. And it's very easy to, to use sandalwood essential oil, right? You could put it in a diffuser, you could dab it on yourself. You don't even need to put it in a carrier oil. Put it on a little tissue, wave it in front of your nose. You know, there's so many, so many different ways you can use sandalwood essential oil. And almondine garnet imparts strength, security, and enhances vitality. So you take this nice little, little almondine garnet, you put it in your pocket, you carry it on yourself somehow. And that's what you're going to use for your root chakra and your motivation. Okay, moving on to the sacral chakra. Your sacral chakra is your center for balancing, protecting, and clearing energy. And you're going to want to work with this energy if you need to fight cravings and let go of unhealthy habits. The sacral chakra contains the energy of creativity. And it's by working with this energy center that you can learn to balance the dual powers of creation, both its productive and destructive qualities within yourself. Building upon the foundation of stabilizing and revitalizing energy of the root chakra, the sacral chakra presents this question. How are you going to use the emotional strength and motivation you developed in your root chakra? Are you going to nurture yourself? or destroy yourself? Will you decide to eat right and exercise and create health? Or will you give into unhealthy temptations that create disease? Imbalanced sacral chakra energy may manifest itself in these ways, mood swings, lack of discipline, and impulses for unhealthy foods that are only going to diminish your wellness. A fear of being controlled by unhealthy eating habits Yet at the same time, showing a pattern of compulsive overeating is a sacral chakra issue. Being able to release destructive negative patterns is a benefit of working with sacral chakra energy. So you're going to want to work with the sacral chakra to balance your creative energy in both its destructive and productive forms. So if struggling to fight cravings and the habit of destructive overeating are issues for you, then your sacral chakra is the one that needs some attention. So the essential oil and the crystal I've chosen for you for this are jasmine essential oil and amethyst. Jasmine essential oil has balancing effects for emotional support, calming your mind and decreasing cravings. Woohoo! And amethyst is helpful for overcoming and releasing addictive and destructive habits. It's good for protecting and purifying your sacral chakra energy. And it also assists with clearing and removing unwanted negative emotional patterns. Solar plexus. Let's move up to the solar plexus. This is your center for invigorating energy. And you're going to want to work with your solar plexus energy if you need to create new healthy habits. So the solar plexus chakra is your personal power chakra. Here you focus on understanding yourself, your fears, and how you're going to use that understanding to achieve your goals. All fears related to physical appearance, including obesity, are seated in the solar plexus energy center. Also found here are fears of rejection and criticism. So what will you do with the fears you encounter here? Will you allow them to overpower you? The key to developing your personal power is confronting, understanding, and learning from your fears and building on the creative nurturing energy of the sacral chakra. So here's where you're going to take that energy and put it into action. Whereas the sacral chakra helped you release your destructive negative patterns, the solar plexus chakra is the energy to now create new healthier habits. Your solar plexus chakra is the wellspring of your empowerment. 
which is essential for taking action to achieve your weight loss goals. So I have chosen for your solar plexus chakra, peppermint essential oil and golden appetite. Isn't it interesting that there's a crystal named golden appetite and it is just absolutely perfect for the solar plexus chakra. <laughs> there are no coincidences. Okay. So peppermint essential oil is emotionally energizing and get this, it decreases cravings and increases positive energy. I mean, what more could you ask for, right? When you're trying to lose weight and golden appetite is believed to help with creating new habits and specifically supporting weight loss. Just awesome. So the solar plexus, peppermint and golden appetite. All right. The heart chakra, your center for comforting, healing and releasing energy. You're going to want to work with this energy if you need to stop eating your emotions. Hmm. The energy of the heart chakra is your love of creation in all its forms. It's an energy of the spiritual lesson that teaches you how to love and have compassion for all, including yourself. It's a comforting energy that helps you release your emotional pain and reach a state of tranquility and healing. A loss of energy in the heart chakra manifests in fears of loneliness, commitment, jealousy, bitterness, anger, hatred, and an inability to forgive yourself and others. Do you find that you turn to food when you're in emotional pain? Does the food temporarily suppress or soothe what you're feeling? The mood food you're choosing is likely very unhealthy and can sabotage your weight loss efforts. On top of that, afterwards, you usually end up with guilt too. Even more destructive, stress-inducing energy. If you're an emotional eater, finding a way toward emotional healing, obviously, is a top priority. Find a process that works for you and include working with the energy of the heart chakra. Negative emotions are stressful on your energy system and in particular, the energy of your heart. These negative energies that can be found in the heart chakra need to be confronted and let go so that you can release that destructive energy of stress and the destructive habit of eating your emotions. So if you're an emotional eater, the heart chakra, that's your focus. So I've chosen for you Palmarosa essential oil and rose quartz. Palmarosa is a comforting oil that's perfect for all emotional applications. So any kind of emotional imbalance you have going on in your heart chakra, Palmarosa is going to be your friend. <laughs> and rose quartz is, I don't want to say famous. Well, I guess it is kind of famous, but it's probably the most popular quartz for soothing vibrations associated with the heart chakra that help release stress and encourage emotional healing. Rose quartz is all about love. All right, the throat chakra. Your center for uplifting, expressing, and attracting energy. So you're going to want to work with this energy if you need more self-confidence. The essence of the throat chakra is faith, confidence and communication. It's where you use your power to give voice to the love and compassion for yourself held within your heart chakra. If you don't love yourself, it's going to be revealed in the energy of the throat chakra through what you're saying about yourself. An imbalanced throat chakra gives voice to your unconfronted fears, your undeveloped self-acceptance, and your low self-esteem. So I encourage you to be mindful and listen to the words you're saying about yourself throughout the day. You know what? Now that I think about it, you don't even have to actually be physically saying it. Listen to what you're playing in your head about yourself too, because there's probably a lot more going on in there than there is coming out of your mouth. So 
are you communicating the truth about who you are in the eyes of the divine? Or are you expressing faith and belief in your fears instead? Whichever you're choosing, it's affecting your weight loss journey, right? Because where the mind goes, the body follows. Are you confident in your approach to weight loss, knowing the truth about how wonderful you are? Or are you filled with all kinds of self-doubt? Well, work with the energy of your throat chakra to identify your beliefs, increase your faith in the truth about yourself, build that self-esteem, change what you say about yourself, and develop the confidence to ask for what you need. If you can't ask for what you need, how are you ever going to get what you need? Right? So I've chosen for the throat chakra, bergamot essential oil and pink halite. Now bergamot is an emotionally uplifting and strengthening oil that works to raise self-esteem and enables the truth to be spoken. Pink halite vibrates with the energy of joy and self-love to assist with clearing emotionally related imbalances, seeing the truth, and helping with self-expression. All right, folks, we're moving along. We're getting up to the third eye chakra, which is your center for renewing and inspiring energy. So you're going to want to work with this energy if you need to be more in tune with your needs. Third chakra energy is the energy of self-reflection, understanding, and developing wisdom to intuitively listen to your body's needs. Figuratively looking within using your third eye energy helps you discover your true self. Working with this energy helps develop your intuition which is your ability to trust your instincts about what your body is telling you and the wisdom to listen. When you begin looking, it's here that you might discover a fear of judgment or a fear of discipline that have been hindering your weight loss efforts. Working with the energy of the third eye chakra allows you to stop seeing things and yourself as quote unquote good or bad. This type of judgment generates fear, which is enough to stop you from achieving your goals. Put your fears aside and stay true to yourself. Your third eye will help you see who you truly are. Maybe your third eye will show you that you're running from the difficult and uncomfortable process of losing weight. The important thing is to be willing to look at what's really going on and to have the wisdom to listen to what your body is saying. Overcoming your unwillingness to face your fears and see the truth underneath about yourself and your weight gain allows you to create a desirable future that includes weight loss and better health. If you've been avoiding evaluating your personal beliefs and attitudes associated with your weight, or if you're ignoring the signals your body is sending you, your third eye chakra is a good place to focus. For your third eye, I have chosen for you Immortelle essential oil and Iolite sunstone. Immortelle is an emotionally renewing oil that is excellent for reflection, understanding, self growth, and an increased sense of self care. Iolite sunstone combines the properties of two crystals for better intuition, inspiration, self discipline, and productive action to aid your weight loss. Okay, we are up to the final chakra for today, the crown chakra, which is your center for harmonizing and attuning energy. You're going to want to work with this energy if you need inner peace and the inspiration to make healthy lifestyle changes. The crown chakra is where you become connected to your spiritual nature. The energy of all your prayers and meditations, including those about your weight loss journey, is held here in your crown chakra. It brings together your body, your mind, emotions, and your spirit so that you can become inspired and peaceful, your true spiritual self. It frees you from the low energy pains, troubles, and humiliations of the world because it brings you calmness, 
happiness, and gives you access to inner guidance through connection with the creator of the universe. The spiritually elevating and harmonizing effect of balanced crown chakra energy supports the manifestation of your desires, such as lifestyle changes, a healthy metabolism, and that ultimate weight loss. Your crown chakra essential oil and crystal that I've chosen are rose essential oil and ametrine. Rose essential oil is the highest frequency oil. Do you know that? It's the highest frequency. And it brings harmony to body, mind, emotions, and spirit. Ametrine, like the third eye chakra, is a combination crystal. It's composed of amethyst and citrine energies. And they're going to help you attune to divine inspiration, enabling you to act on inner guidance. And it's also believed to stimulate metabolism and digestion, which is just awesome. (laughs) Thanks so much, folks, for listening. We're sticking around until the end of this podcast. I hope you find some of the information today useful. Um, If you do, you know, leave me a little comment in the comments section. That'd be great. Um, I also want to tell you if you want to sign up for the newsletter in the show notes, you can go to my website, dorianlin.com, click on newsletter. If you want to keep in touch with me, you can reach me through email, live chat. You can follow me on Facebook, YouTube. I'm going to put all of those links and info for you in the comment section under the podcast. And I hope you have a super blessed day and I'll see you next time. Bye now.